Hello again you filthy scrub lords. You hear that sound? It's the sound of your doom cough I mean another stupid as fuck tank review. Except we are not going to be looking at any mere tank. We are going to be exploring the Kriegsmarine's newest pocket land battleship. Welcome to the DKM Mouse, a tier 5 continent with a gun. Designed to be so badass that you cannot help but play the German Panzer lead from fucking loudspeakers mounted on the top of the tank at full blast like fucking Mickey Mouse. The marsupial is as of now a 7.7 .7 battle rating land battleship that represents the end of the German heavy tank line. It is the heaviest motherfucker in the game and is armed with a 128mm naval gun and a 75mm gun that is used for range finding. Yes, the range finding gun on this tank is just as big as the main gun on the Panzer Mark IV and Pussy Panther. Its claim to fame is being more heavily armored than the fucking armored cruisers of the Kriegsmarine. But all that weight comes at the price of speed. This thing can do anything, as long as it doesn't involve getting anywhere quickly. <laughs> Gay! The mouse can obtain a blistering top speed of 20 km per hour or 12 miles per hour for all of us Imperial scrubs. The mouse is constructed of multiple decks and even has a fucking bridge, where the captain can oversee the slaughter of all the wearables. It includes a command deck, engine room, CIC and a fucking munitions factory. That is totally invulnerable to every type of bullshit selenium APHE round out there. Also in case you fucking scrubs haven't noticed by now, DKM stands for Duchess Kriegs Marine you fucking cunts. The DKM mouse incorporates the most powerful diesel engine in the glorious arsenal of the Kriegs Marine. A fucking new boat engine with 1200 horsepower and a transmission about the size of my cock I mean car. Despite carrying enough oil to warrant an invasion by the United States, it only has a range of 99 miles and can only manage 12 miles per hour and that's if you have fucking rocket boosters attached to this shit. So in other words, it's slower than your fucking grandmother after downing 24 Yager bombs and waking up after having passed out with her head in the sink. However, in this case, the slow speed of the mouse seems to work to its advantage. But I will get into this more during the tactics portion of this review also. It's loud as fuck, and you would have to be a fucking idiot to allow this monstrosity to sneak up on you. Just moving the tank creates enough noise to cause another 7.0 earthquake in Haiti or some shit. So it needs a fucking new boat engine to get anywhere. Is the armor at least okay? Two words. Fuck yes. As long as nobody gets on your flank and gets your perfectly flat as fuck side armor or fires nothing but bullshit heat FS shells at you, the armor is the strongest and heaviest of any tank in the game. Its 200mm thick upper front glasses plate is over 300mm in effective thickness and contains large amounts of adult thinning. However, it is far from invulnerable from the front. For whatever reason, Gaijude decided that it would be fun to face fuck their mouse players in the face by making the front of the turret one of the weakest points of the tank. The turret cheeks get penetrated by anything and everything at 7.0 and up. They only gave it 220mm of armor on the front instead of the 240mm of armor it historically had and has been proven to have. What? But this is somehow not relevant, and you will just have to deal with the idea that every time you want to kill something, there's a possibility it will just kill you. What the fuck? Fucking gauge you. Speaking of killing things, it is probably the best German land battleship equipped to do so. It's massive KWK-44. 128mm naval cannon is capable of killing any opponent it meets with a single shot. However, with great power comes a really long ass reload. I run an almost completely maximum crew with ace qualifications and I have gotten its reload time down to a blister in 18.2 seconds. This gun gets a choice of 2 AP shells and 1 HE shell. The first AP round is the Panzer Grenade, armor piercing cap shell with the second one being the Panzer Grenade 43 AP CBC round. The APC shell has 266mm of pen at 100m range, while the APCBC round has 269mm. There looks to be very little difference between these app rounds. But as always these are fucking stupid people who cannot fathom the depth and skill of German engineering. The APC round is about the same at close range, but the APCBC shell keeps its high penetration at longer ranges. People say that the gun is bad, 
but then I ask them how many times you have to fire heat FS or APDS on a fucking leopard one to kill a single shit bit. Usually it's more than 3 to 4 times. Where the glorious DKM mouse only has to pound their ass with one shot. Get fucking wrecked M8. But that's not all the heat the mouse is packing. It has a quick fuck I mean quick firing 75mm gun that, if you have any sense you will fire nothing but heat out of. It gets two different heat shells, the HLGR 38B4 bitch, and the HLGR 38C4 cunt. The only difference between these two shells, is that the bitch gets 80mm of pen and the cunt gets 100mm of pen. Also since it is a heat shell it keeps that penetration at all distances. This shell should be used to fuck up lower tier plebs and anti-aircraft vehicles like the ZSU-57, too which is fucking evil. Once you unlock the seashell, that's all you should use. Now for ammunition loadout, if you want to survive for any length of time in the morse, don't be a fucking retard, and keep ammunition in your turret. The turret is where you are normally killed from anyway, and unless you have Parkinson's and can't aim for shit, you don't need half the German Navy's shells just for one game. I keep 38 APCBC rounds and 6 HE rounds for my 128mm Dickoff I mean cannon. And 50 heat rounds for my 75mm. It's critical that you keep below a maximum of 75 rounds for your 75mm otherwise you get this massive fucking ammo rack right in the front of the goddamn turret. And why the flying fuck do you need 100 rounds of 75mm ammunition anyway? What are you going to do? Cause them to die from fucking laughing. I don't think so. So it has shittier mobility than your 96 year old alcoholic grandma. That's right. But more armor than a fucking derpitz. And a gun so powerful that a shell landing near you has the possibility of nuking you just from the sheer superiority of its fucking gun. So how does one play it? Well unlike the Kempera, it's meant to be on the front lines right in the enemy's dumb fucking face. However, it is slow, and not very quick to maneuver, so you must stay close with your teammates and support them, by acting as a fucking shell sponge. You do this by angling the hull and turret of the tank, which causes most shells to simply bounce off, when you are ready to fire at a target, only then do you turn your turret back, to unleash the glory of the Third Reich. If you are lucky, and get into a 6.7 game, and you are top tier, your biggest threat is going to be the M26E1 Super Pershing. Its 200mm plus of penetration can easily penetrate your side armor and you should prioritize this target as much as possible. This is a heavy tank in the extreme, and should be played as such. Also, another pro tip, is that if you need to advance across open ground and there are multiple threats to your front, fire your 75mm continuously not to hit them, but to blind them enough with the explosives hitting the ground right in front of their face, so that they cannot fire. You have a quick enough reload on the 75 so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Also I mentioned earlier, that its slow speed can work in its favor. Well it works, because by the time you get to the battle, the enemy tends to have overextended, and is out of position, making it a fucking turkey shoot. Crew skills should be focused on your main gun, and getting its reload time down with weapon reloading and leadership. Also, agility and repairing skills are going to come in handy, since you are going to be taking a lot of damage. Modifications should be unlocked in the following order. Parts, turret drive, FPE, PZGR43, HLGR38C, adjustment of fire, and elevation mechanism. After this do whatever the fuck gets you off more. <laughs> now you know how to play the DKM Marsupial land battle shit. Get out there, and crush all the shit via scrub lords before you. If you like this shit, spam the like button. If you haven't already, hack your friends google accounts, and have them subscribe. And if you wish the series to continue, share this shit with all your war thunder friends, and stop complaining about how heavy tanks suck. See you next time you new vile scrub lords.